Hi everyone. Chinese present nuance in expressing concepts of continuation and repetition. Among these, the efforts Yo and Zai stand out for their distinctive yet sometimes overlapping usage. Today we will explore the interplay of these two terms, shedding light on their unique roles and application in Mandarin. Yo often translate as again or also is primarily used to repeat an action or event that has already occurred. It carries a sense of something being repeated or an additional instance occurring, usually referring to past or complete actions. For example, 他昨天又迟到了. 他昨天又迟到了, 他昨天又迟到了. It means he was late again yesterday. 他又买了一本书, 他又买了一本书, 他又买了一本书. It means she bought another book. In this sentence, you points to an action that has been repeated, being late, and buying a book. It emphasizes the recurrence of an action in the past. Sign, meaning again or another time, is used to express the idea of doing something one more time, but but with a future orientation, it suggests the continuation or repetition of an action that is yet to occur. For example, 我们再见面吧, 我们再见面吧, 我们再见面吧. It means let's meet again. 你可以再说一遍吗? 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 It means can you say it again? And in this sentence, that indicates a future or anticipated repetition of an action, meeting and saying something. It focuses on what is yet to happen rather than what has already occurred. Why both yo and zai deal with repetition? There are primary difference lies in their temporal focus. Yo is retrospective looking back, back looking back at actions that has already happened. Zai, in contrast, is Prospective looking forward to anticipate actions. Do you want to learn more Chinese? We are now offering a free Chinese try class. Sign up for a free try class by going to our website lcchineseschool.com. lcchineseschool.com. lcchineseschool.com.